two dragons down and three to go. Let's see how our heroes do in the snow. D and D minus. The room of the red dragon fades from view, and so does its warmth. You find yourselves now standing on a barren and icy plain at the mouth of a cave. A snowstorm whips hail and freezing ice all around you till you blue dragon? <laughs> are nearly snow blind. Maybe. You don't know. This could be... <laughs> Feels like the blue dragon. A variety of dragon. I think this might be the, the silver dragon or the white one. Well, why don't you all... Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> you hurry inside the cave and you find yourselves surrounded by the most beautiful and perfect crystals you have ever seen. And gleaming inside each one is a reflection of a blue dragon. Like the others, he stands just under human height. However, this dragon isn't covered in a million gadgets and gizmos. Instead, he just has two long blue glass daggers at his hip. A belt of deep blue grenades are across his chest, but his most defining feature is a deep, redolent blue mustache. <gasps> How did you get that beautiful color? He speaks and his voice echoes from everywhere in the cave at once, making it impossible to tell his actual location. Thank you, and I appreciate the comment. Are you Spanish? Do you use, like, beard wax? <laughs> I am... Um, Transylvanian, maybe? What kind of beard wax you, do you use on that mustache? That is a beautiful mustache. Thank you. I use fantasy wax. Fantasy hmm. I mean, wax. it's fine. I'm a Dapper Dan man. I'm going to have to go. Where do you get that? At Fantasy Costco or Fantasy Alta? Do you guys know Gary? Gary? Oh, oh Gary! I... Wait, you know Gary? Get the fuck out of here. Everybody knows Gary. Yeah, of course. I'm going to have to talk to Gary about this. That's great. Oh, my God. He's so fun. We killed him recently. I feel like he couldn't be in business yet. Yeah, we just recently killed him. <laughs> oh, no, he got on it. He got on it. Let me tell Unless you. He's been do, quick about it. He got the drop shipping business off TikTok, which most Ooh. of those are scams. But it's a fantasy yep. world, so it wasn't a scam because he's an earth elemental. <laughs> <laughs> It's actually always a scam unless you're an earth elemental, in which case it was a totally legitimate business for him to pick up. Oh, wow. Hmm. Yeah, for mustache wax and all sorts of stuff. My goodness. Anyways. All right. Anyway, back to your House of the Dragon Bruce Lee reference. Go for it. Thank you. Thank you. I uh, was very impressed by your last session. Many have made it past Green's childish tricks, but I can count on one clawed hand. Those who have bested red. You know, in sign language, you can count infinitely on one hand. Oh, that's Ooh. good to know. Aye. Anyways, I am sad to say that your journey ends here. But before you go, is there anything you wish for me to tell your next of kin? I have excellent penmanship. Jokes on you, we are our next of kin. I was about to say, that's us, kind of. All right. In your face. Yes, this is the, the smack talk. Yes, I love it. <laughs> Perhaps you wonder at my confidence, and that is because I know something that you do not know. Left-handed? I have backup. Okay. And as he says that, you hear the huge beat of wings as a full-grown ancient white dragon soars in from the blowing storm outside, blocking your exit and trapping you between him and his brother. It appears you'll be fighting the beast and the blue at the same time. Everybody roll initiative for me. Ah, oh, motherfucker. That's a fucking six. That's a critical fail. Hey. Initiative. Wow. Ooh, 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 ooh. 19. Wait, you have a plus nine initiative? Oh, no, it was a seven. I thought it was a one. Okay, I got a seven. 
plus two. 23. 23. Lovely. Yeah, that auto filled in. Righty. The ancient white dragon is up first. But before that, here's how the blue dragon's going to work. You'd like to attack him, obviously, but you're going to need to know where he is. So right now, the cave is filled with 20 of his magical reflecting crystals. When you cast a spell, this does not account for martial attacks, but when you cast a spell, you will roll a d4. On a one, your spell bounces back and does full damage to you, despite any magical, natural, or item-based abilities you have. That means, Dave, if you throw a fireball at a crystal and then you roll a one, you will get burned. On a two or a three, you destroy the crystal and he's down one from the 20 that he has. And on a four, you will hit the blue dragon himself. Spells with multiple objects, explosion points or bullets, etc. Each must roll their own D4. I.e., if you shoot three magic missiles, that's three rolls to see what they do or do not do. Just... Out of curiosity, would a certain dog with true sight be able to see through this ruse? That's a great question. I was about to ask the same thing. No, these are magical reflections. But true sight. They cannot see through everything. They can see through minor illusions and dark and magical darkness, but they can't see through everything. And magical reflections are one of the things that true sight doesn't. Actually, now that we mention it, Sea Dog and uh, Fuck Bear, can we get a quick roll call? That Hello, you're there? I am here. Great. Fuck Bear. <laughs> okay. Also question. Yeah. You said not counting martial attacks. So what's going on with martial attacks? I have a different system for you. I'll tell you about it when you shoot. So an Ankylosaurus could hit two at once. What about a cocaine bear? Well, because I could turn into a brontosaurus and just roll down the hill. You know? <laughs> right. Oh. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's the move. We'll have to figure something out for that. Okay. And then just to, to complete the visual image. So they're the small sloping hill with the 20 crystals in front of you. And then behind you is the white dragon who is as wide as the cave is. This is gi giant, giant creature. Think size of like 10 elephants is what I saw online, which I think was a pretty good... Anything but the metric system. And, <laughs> <laughs> and that's behind you or to your south, if you'd like. How big is the blue dragon? Blue dragon is just hu a slightly shorter than human-sized. African or Asian elephants. I thought you were going to say African or Asian human. <laughs> I was, was going to oh say I'm much, much, much happier to provide that answer. African elephants. Oh, okay. Aw, Asian ones are fatter. Right, they're bigger, aren't they? Yeah. No, African elephants are bigger. Asian elephants are fatter. Oh, okay. And cuter, in my opinion. They are cuter, yeah. African elephant taking its earbuds out on the subway. Anybody Racist. else have any other like racial <laughs> really elephant big. stuff? <laughs> I'm just imagining how big the elephant's uh, earbuds are, and that's adorable. Yeah, no, no. Oh, my God. <laughs> two little white frying pans. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the white dragon is going to go first. It is going to use its cold breath. The dragon exhales an icy blast in a 90-foot cone. Each creature in that area must make a DC 22 constitution saving throw. Shit. Fuck. 20. Nice. <laughs> Wait, what do we have to say? We have to get 22. 22. I got 18. Oh, six. Not even close. Oh, so yeah, li literally nothing but a nat 20 would have done it. Yeah, check right now to see if you have advantage, what kind of things you have. Oh, I have my sword in my hand. So if you guys, you guys get advantage on saving throws. Even worse, 10. Oh, cool. I mean, it would need to be a nat 20. So the odds of like are... Wow, I just rolled two 18s in a fucking uh, row. I was going to say, I it's teasing. I also rolled row. two 18s in a fucking row. Okay, is it just 18s? Is that only only thing that... Uh, this is just a random one to see if it's another 18. All right, it was a 16. That looked like an 18 for a second. That one was, was messing with you. Way. Yeah, it was like, I'll show you to say I could do 18s. All right, so you are all going to take... Uh, that's going to be 76 points of cold damage. Jesus. Fucking A. Hey, he's a big boy. Who's still alive? I I'm still alive. really close to dead. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> so. I'm barely alive. I, you, you could sneeze on me and kill me. Yeah. I am also really close to death. I have 13. <laughs> I have eight points of hits. <laughs> Whoa. Eight hit points remaining. 63. So yeah, this dragon lands. The, the blue dragon says his small talk and this cold breath just 
sweeps across the entire area. It's like an ice storm surrounds you and just shards of ice are cutting you and the, the freezing cold blasts you with this magic. And then you're all just like the cartoon blinking eyes in white snowmen. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> the image. <laughs> Talon, you are up. Okay. How close are we to the uh, dragon who just attacked, by the way? Yeah, I have put you exactly in the center of the room with him on the far side of it. So he's a hundred feet. And then I have, sorry, I have to count squares. We're halfway into a 200 foot room and he's the other edge and you need to count squares. <laughs> no, because he's, he takes up a space. I have a oh, little. Oh, I see. oh, yeah, right. I have right. a little dragon drawn here that I'm very proud of. <laughs> a little fan dragon. He 10 elephants. 10 elephants wide. 35 feet away is what you look like you are now, right now. That's a very big, he's 70. He a big, a big boy. Yeah, he's a big boy. He's 75 feet? Yeah. 65. Oh, you're right. Yeah, 65. Still big. <laughs> so. Holy fuck. Yeah, he's an ancient white dragon. An elephant is six and a half feet. That's clear. Mm. Everybody knows that. <laughs> <laughs> what do we think we need to do to this blue dragon to, you know, essentially so we don't get cold breathed every so turn. the uh, the sexual corkscrew penis face sitting thing worked super good on red. <laughs> you feel like that's good? Yeah, but for... I'm like the size of his nostrils. So I mean, I don't know if it would work. Some people like that. <laughs> <laughs> I think maybe if you decided to take out one of the one of the mirrors, crystals, the crystals. Yeah, and I'm also thinking we need to like spread, spread the out. fuck out. Yeah, we need to spread out. Yeah. So I'll I'll go up since I can fly. And then that'll give you guys more ground width wise. Okay. You said it was, how high did you say it was? Okay. I was so mad just now because I, I literally, the only dimension I didn't do was height. Was I was height. like, I don't know, tall. <laughs> so I'm going to say it is 300 feet tall. Awesome. You already said it was 300 feet Yeah, you said that. Oh, nice. Nailed it. Sweet. I like when the things I make up also are the things I made up earlier. <laughs> The Eli Bosnick story. <laughs> <laughs> so you can go 35 feet up into the air, right? Yeah. Okay, so you said that there was a unique thing about these martial attacks and these arrows. So what I'm going to do is, well, let's just try one. I'm going to fly up 35 feet, and I have my invisibility ring on still, right? But I guess the dragon could probably just see me. That doesn't matter. And I'm going to fire at... Actually, wait. I don't know if they can. The other one had x-ray specs on. Oh, yeah. Which none of you appreciate. X-ray wouldn't help against something that's invisible. No, they were x-ray specs and they were created by a patient. Why, and they why were wouldn't super they dope. be called specs ray? What if you all... Great question. Fucked yourself. Also, how would x-ray <laughs> see something that's invisible? It's not. They're x-ray specs. They're not x-rays. They, x-ray specs don't do actual x-ray. No, that's true. They don't. Oh, yeah. No, good point. It's just, yeah. you know, scientifically. <laughs> now you have solved the problem. <laughs> uh, okay. No. So it has. Yeah. No, it, it does not have true sight or special vision or anything like that. So, yeah. Okay. I can't see you. Okay. So I'm going to fly up, obviously, invisible with the invisible ring on. And I'm going to fire an arrow of returning at. Do I have to, like, pick a crystal? Nah. Or is it like. Okay. Just the dragon, because that's going to determine whether or not you hit it. You're shooting at blue guy in front of us. Blue north. guy. I'm shooting at blue guy, yeah. I'm going to leave the sides of the hill crystals to the other guys. I'm going to shoot like straight down from where I am. Fantastic. I'll nab one of these bad boys in the center. Okay. And so I'm going to do... I, I How I forget this every time, I don't know. But I'm going to do an oath bow attack and a sneak attack. Right. So you got to hit first. And then, then you if get I to hit do this a sneak, sneak attack. attack yeah. yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. And I believe I can do two attacks per turn. Oh, no. One attack per action. Yeah. Okay. Here's the hit. Oh, 20. That'll hit. Ooh. Do you want me to roll damage or the D4? Don't roll the damage yet. Roll a D20 for me. Again, another D20. Okay. Yeah. So this is how the mechanic of physical attacks are going to work. There are 20 crystals. He is one of them. Uh -huh. I have written down what number he is. And if you hit that number, you hit him. Otherwise, you hit a crystal. Does he change per turn? Does he always that single crystal? He will not change until someone hits him. Okay. Eight. I mean, odds are it doesn't hit. <laughs> I'm so fucking mad right now. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> that's oh, a hit. Oh, no. I, <laughs> that's a terrible shot that so, he dives into somehow like an I idiot. can't. I can't. <laughs> that, I mean, it's one in 20 chance, but I just can't. The first time I had a whole thing, the crystal shatters and then, oh, look, there's more. But you just hit, you hit him. <laughs> you hit him <laughs> with your arrow. Now, can I, I can do sneak attack and add damage, right? Yeah, you sure okay. can. Fuck yeah, man. Uh, cool. Yes. I had I'm a so whole, I'm <laughs> going to, oh this is, my, this is, I'm, <laughs> Eli's tearing up like 45 so pieces much, of paper right I now. I wrote so you. much of like this battle thing because the crystals were going to shatter and then it was going to be like, we had to, it's all fucked now. That was that was the angriest silence I've ever heard on a Zoom call before. <laughs> what happened in my brain, I was like, lie. And then I was like, but then I won't know what number he's at. And I was like, nine. And then my other brain was like, dude, you've been quiet for like seven and a half hours. And I was like, no. There. It, boop. It's a delay. I honestly thought I'd lost you guys. I was like, well, okay, I guess I'll log back in or something. Can I, can I tell you something, Morgan? You lost me as a friend. <laughs> All right, roll that damage. Well, first of all, can I, I didn't do this, so I probably, you won't let me, but can I retroactively name him my sworn enemy? Oh, you said you were doing a sworn enemy attack thing. Okay, cool. So then it's going to be 1d8 plus 5 plus 3d6, and that's just the first attack. Correct. And then you get a sneak attack. So that is 10 plus, uh, ooh, pretty good. 10 plus 13. And then the sneak attack, 10d6, here we go. Plus 36. 36 fucking damage. All right. Yeah. So he's, you know, finishes this monologue. The big white dragon blows. <laughs> you just turn around and directly shoot him in the chest. And he's like, <laughs> bro. Oh, come on. And I'm invisible. So he's like, where the fuck did that come from? I've been <laughs> forever setting up these uh, reflections with these. Re re <laughs> ah, come on. I wrote the whole thing about my conquest, but, um, yup. Ow. <laughs> right in the center of my trace. All right. Anything else that you'd like to destroy that I wrote? You want to go into my Google Drive and just delete some <laughs> shit? Well, don't you get a second attack? You get a secret. Yeah, I'm going to make sure I don't get a second attack. I do um, believe you get two attacks. Do I have to like redo the D20 or no? You do have to. Yeah, but you have to roll for each attack. Okay. But you know where he is now. 21 to hit. Yep, that'll hit. Okay, now <laughs> I didn't know you drank alcohol, Eli. <laughs> yeah, I had this hand sanitizer on my desk and I just figured while we're fucking here. Okay. Oh wow. Two, uh, seven plus I really hope I kill him in one round. Seven plus ten. And another sneak attack, right? Mm-hmm. Plus, oh, one of the dice is stuck. Hold on. Good. <laughs> Plus 31. Plus 31. Cool. Tight. <laughs> yeah, so he's, another arrow goes thudding from the air and he's like, oh, okay. I had really planned for a long series of dash and dance sword battles, but I am super close to dead right now. <laughs> Oh, no. Just super duper close. You did like? Did you do like a hundred and five damage right there in one turn? I think so. Yeah. Well, yep. yeah. Yeah. Jesus. Yep. Pretty, pretty close. All right, Snedrick, you are up. Well, so no, no, is he still in the same spot? Can I go in attack? Still in the same? Yeah, it's not his oh, turn. Okay. He's just right. standing yeah, there sir. with two arrows <laughs> stuck in his fucking chest. He's like, I could totally move, but we live in a turn-based universe. This fucking sucks. <laughs> oh. Time. Dimension. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think of like what what is an anti dragon? Mm. What's the opposite of a dragon? What's we the opposite? A lot about Come on, opposites. Noah. Yeah, uh, no, if anybody's it's gonna a know. Goat with, it's a goat with a no. So mustache. I should just I should actually <laughs> I, very close, very close. It was a goat with a goatee. Um, <laughs> I should turn into like whatever has the most. What the fuck is an Andro Sphinx? I'm going to turn into an Andro Sphinx. It's got a lot of fucking... I'm going to Google it right now. Are you like asking chat GPT what the opposite of a dragon is? <laughs> and it said Andro Sphinx? No, I, that's what, that was the thing that I came across that had a lot of fucking hit points. 
Wait, you can turn into something called an Andro Sphinx? Dude, it's quite literally just a Sphinx. Yeah, it's a Sphinx. Is it a big Sphinx? It's a mythical creature. Yeah, and it's on steroids, apparently. <laughs> yeah. And Andro Sphinx. Probably, oh, hmm. Difference between an and a, and a gyno sphinx? Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, oh so it's, it's just a dude sphinx. <laughs> oh, you're a guy sphinx instead of a lady sphinx. I see. I see. Much more likely to eat. You don't have titties. Well, yeah. that's not guaranteed. Oh, you know what? Everybody has titties, actually. Thank you. To be fair. Can you ask the dragon a riddle and like it can't attack us till it solves the riddle or something? That would be nice. Yeah. No, but hold on. I can roar. And you can teleport? You oh, cast a bunch of spells. You have a beautiful mane of hair. I you have do, to say, yeah. Based you on look, what I just googled. Can I oh, tell wow. you whoever drew the Ando Sphinx for D and D Beyond? A furry and not hiding it. Yeah, no, <laughs> not uh. even hiding it a little. That guy. Why would you hide it? He turned this in, and they were like, "Hey, man, you jerk off to this," and he was like, "I sure did. Yep. I'll see you next Monday." <laughs> right now, as we're speaking, not on this copy. You can have this copy. <laughs> you have three different roars. I do. I do. First roar, each creature. Oh, but this would this would get all of those guys too, wouldn't it? All my roar stuff would get everybody. Yeah. All right. I guess there's not actually a really good attack here for for that dude. Are you big enough to grapple the white dragon? I don't know how big am I. Large. I'm large. I think this is this is based off of the ones in Egypt. The pyramids? Sure. Maybe. The Sphinx sure. in Egypt. Mm -hmm. The real yeah. ones? The ones that you can see <laughs> in the zoo? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> One other thing, I know this isn't going to come up, but I just like to point this out. The Andro Sphinx has a has a characteristic called inscrutable. The Sphinx is immune to any effect that would sense its emotions or read its <laughs> thoughts. Nice. So it's a cat. <laughs> just, you sit down to play poker and turn into an Andro Sphinx. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so I guess I'm going to try to I'm going to fly up and uh to the blue dragon guy and do my claw attack. That's not much, but I'm really doing this mode. I have a fuck ton of health. Yeah. 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 If we can knock one of them out right now, that's huge. Yeah, absolutely. Right. right. Yeah. I don't understand all the fucking shit it says on the claw attack. I, I don't know what all this means. You're going to roll a d20 and it's going to be plus 12 to that. It's a plus 12 to hit with the claw. I love it. Mm -hmm. 30. Yeah. So that's a 30. That'll hit. And you are going to roll... 2d10 plus 6. That'd be 26. 26. All right. Yeah, these roars are awesome. Yeah, but it would affect all of you guys. Mm. Each creature within 500 feet. Ah. Is that just like on a... I'm assuming if we're above you, we still get the sonics. <laughs> yeah. So you burst into this sphinx form and just come rolling up the hill and just slash a giant claw right up his chest. Oh my goodness, this is very painful. Oh, so like he's still got two arrows in his chest, right? So yeah. can I just like shove them in with my claws? Yeah, exactly. You go up and you just like double fist right in the center. Oh, <laughs> through. Oh, they went through. <laughs> okay. Ow. Nice. All right. He is up next. Thank goodness for my <laughs> encounter. He is up next. Can I just get a quick roll call from the fuck bear and the sea dog in case it's their turn? You know, nope, it's not our turn yet, master. We go when you go. Got it. Fuck bear. Okay. <laughs> Can you both repeat back? There is no fear in this Jodo. Just so I know. You. <laughs> there is no fear in this Jodo. Okay. Yeah. Just whenever it's your turn, speak up. Sweep <laughs> the leg. Okay. Carry on. So the blue dragon throws down one of his blue grenades and vanishes and then he reappears in the crystals again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. So we know it's not eight. <laughs> yeah, so wait, does does that count as one of the crystals being broken though since there were only really 19 crystals? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, he made a new. He let's try to figure out why that's true right now. <laughs> Wait, no, you can't. You can't break a crystal with math. I refuse. No, you're right. Because otherwise, it be yeah, it's fine. Fine, he's there, and he's like, now the true battle may begin. Okay, okay. Ow, 
You guys <laughs> shot me twice. Really didn't expect that. <laughs> All right. Dave, you are up. And I will remind you that Sea Dog and the Sex Bear can go before you or after you, but they are here and they exist. Sea Dog, you're gonna you're gonna be up first, bud. You ready? Excellent, Master. What shall I do? Yeah, so you're gonna do the uh three headed fire breath, obviously, and hit that fucking dragon that's almost dead. Yes, Master. Let's see if I hit first. Oh, nope, it's a it's a dexterity saving throw. Are you narrating uh, some sort of dice roll? It must no. be very hard to roll dice with his little paws. Thank you <laughs> for the sympathy. I kind of just have a feeling like if we take the blue dragon out. It's a fucking two. Something's going to happen. Oh, good, it's a two. It's a fucking two. He rolled a two. It's fine. All right, Dave, roll three d4s for me. A reminder, a one, the spell will bounce back and do full damage to Sea Dog. On a two or a three, it will destroy the crystal. And on a four, it will hit the blue dragon himself. Okay, so I'm going to do a d4 three different times. Three d4, please. All right, that's a one. Oh, crap. Oh. Well, shit. That's a one. Jesus okay. <laughs> what the fuck? That's a four. That's a four. All right. So the two heads that don't talk for some reason, they like turn to each other while they're trying to discuss this and just blow fire into each other's faces. They are going to do 20 D10 damage to him. Whoa. Yeah. This is at the white dragon? No, at, at himself. Oh. Sea Dog's fireballs have, for fire breath, serious damage. That's awesome. Is he fire immune by any chance or no? But remember what I said about the system? Even if you have, just by any magical, natural, or item-based abilities, because they're magical crystals, so he still takes the damage. I thought of this ahead of time. I did. So, 113 damage to himself. So they blow fire into their own faces. And Sea Dog is like, sorry about them. It's, it's, <laughs> it's hard. Their voices were made up sort of last minute. And now he's going to do... <laughs> 10 D10 to the dragon. Do the individual heads have individual HP pools or is it just one HP? They have pool? three, they have 319 total, so they're they're okay still. Yeah. Okay. And then he is going to do 65. Yep, that'll kill him. So he the two blow fire at themselves, and the blue dragon is like, you'll see my friend, and there's just like a wall of flame and Two eyes blink and then a pile of ashes falls down. <laughs> and there's still like 17 crystals that don't matter in the hill. <laughs> and there's just a bunch of empty crystals on a hill now. <laughs> the metamorph rises out of the hill and just sort of sadly starts packing the crystals into a suitcase. <laughs> <laughs> fucking use these in season two, you motherfuckers. You think I dropped that, built a whole fucking system. <laughs> Packs them away, just descends back into the earth. Dave. Hey, uh, fuck bear. Yeah. So you see that white dragon kind of behind me? You do? Great. Will you go over there and let's try this one more time. I feel like on the last, uh, last go around with red dragon. Does that, wait, 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 one second. Yeah. Does fuck bear have any attacks? Um, mostly his uh, sexual guile, I feel like. Yeah. Charming. Is that true? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a lot. There's a okay. No, I know you're you're a Yugoloth. You technically have something. I don't know where to look it up, but I would like you to uh, try again. So with uh, Red Dragon, you know, you did a little uh, little sexual dance thing. Didn't go great. Didn't go great. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe maybe have it do something else. Right. But this is a white dragon. This is a white dragon. It charmed the first one too. Oh yeah, it did actually. It yeah. had a little. Yeah, it. it oh, Jesus. So, uh, will you go ahead and do that charming, uh, charming dance thing you did last time, and see if you can distract this, uh, this white dragon? Give him an attack if you get the chance, though. Wait, do you want him to attack, or do you want him to do a sex dance to distract? Sex him? dance, bonus action, attack. No bonus actions. Either he attacks or he does a sex dance. You have to choose. Sex, sex dance, sex dance. That's a sex dance. All right. Yeah. So he does a sex dance. Uh, that's a 25. So I'm going to say he draws the white dragon's attention. Nice. Do you want him to move or just the sex dance? Wait, so I can have... Oh, okay. The sex dance was the action and then I can do a motion yeah, action. Yeah, exactly. Saying, yeah. With this fuck bear. Let's get that fuck bear because it worked. The sex dance worked. Let's get that fuck bear in real close. Oh, all right. Real close <laughs> to the dragon. Yeah. So this fuck bear just starts to sort of 
Cozy up. Yeah. <laughs> like right in the face area to block right vision in the face in, in of different this action. giant yeah. ancient white dragon. No, this is going to go great for him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, no. Hey, everybody, just hopping in to say thank you once again for listening to the podcast. Forgive my baby cold, but tis the season to have a toddler, as they say. And by that, I mean it's March, and that's always the time to have a toddler who is sick because all toddlers are sick all the time. But you don't care about that. You don't care about that. You're here for me to tell you about our show. It's a Dungeons and Dragons podcast. Why would I include this part here in the middle of the podcast. You've been listening to half of it, and now you've just found out it's a Judge and Dragons podcast. But you know what? That's what you get for not being a patron. Patrons aren't here in this part. And if you enjoy the show and you'd like to give us money, head on over to patreon.com forward slash D and D minus. You'll get access to bonus episodes, behind the scenes, Dungeon Master's Corners, and I won't come in the middle of the podcast and tell you what kind of podcast you're listening to. So all sorts of benefits there. Give us reviews wherever you listen to the podcast if you can't give us money. And thanks so much for listening to the show. All right, I'll let you get back to it. Bye. Dave, your actions are all that is left. All right. I'm going to go with, this is a a white dragon. I feel like I can finally use fire again because red dragon was fire immune. White dragon, I feel like won't be. I'm thinking, I'm going to go fifth level fireball spell. Ooh. Yeah. That's a dexterity saving throw, right? Dexterity saving throw of 21 is what they have to do. Yeah, let me roll that. Not particularly dexterous, this giant fucking dragon. Good to know. But that's a nat 20. Ah. (laughs) Oh, fuck. Okay. I would like to do a thing also. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this I think this is actually pretty. I think this is what Don Ford voices fantasy adventure. And who is our other designer? Alex Cloud. And Alex Cloud. I think this is what they this is what they intended for me to do right now. Oh dear. They're gonna be so proud of me, or I have this entirely wrong. It's one or the other. <laughs> <laughs> I think they would want me to over channel that spell, which means when I cast a wizard spell of first through fifth level, I chose fifth on purpose because I was reading this head. I can deal maximum damage with that spell, and since it's a critical, I can deal maximum double, right? Oh, no, sorry. He rolled a nat 20, which means he dodged your fireball. I feel like you would have stopped me way ahead of everything I just said <laughs> if there was nothing that was I thought you had a cool. I thought you had a cool, like, no, I have a skill where... Fucking, if I miss, I hit. <laughs> oh, well, you have lucky. You have the lucky thing. You can... Oh, no, you can't change his roll, can you? Well, okay. I feel like I could just maximize the spell anyway. No, because he doesn't... You miss him. So instead of zero, it's the max. No, he, no. You miss. That's he, he made the saving throw, so you miss. Or do I? <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Okay. <laughs> so I just completely missed. You're saying a critical save, even though he's not whatever, dexterous or whatever it was? Yeah, this dragon does like a fucking sweet-ass barrel roll. Real right slow over your, roll. Yeah. <laughs> Remember when George W. dodged the shoe and you're like, how the <laughs> exactly. fuck did he do that? It was like, right. that's what just happened. <laughs> that's what happened. Fuck. Okay. Well, now I'm going to have to throw fireball necklace as a bonus action to see if I can hit him. Do it. All right. So let me just find that. What level are they? I think I can use them at any level. No. Oh, no. It, it, the bead detonates as a third level fireball. Okay. What's the saving throw on that? I think it's a 15. Let me check. I'm going to be so proud if I remembered that correctly. Necklace of Fireball is third level. Yes, Dex 15. Holy shit. I got that right. Ooh, all right. I will roll that dexterity. So that's an 18. Once again, barrel rolls over that fucking fireball. Let's go fuck myself. And can I do a misty step to get out of the way now as my like finish up thing? Is that a move action? I think that's a spell. Uh, it's a bonus action called Misty Step. You already did a bonus action. I was throwing the... Uh... But can this is a bonus to that. No, no, no second bonus action. Okay, so I'll just fuck myself in place <laughs> after missing <laughs> twice. To be fair, you threw two fireballs. You, you know, it would have done a ton of damage had this uh, yeah, dragon I know. not dodged I know you. that. Yeah. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> All right, Brant, you are up. All right. 
I'm going to cure my wounds because I think I'm the only person who can just to keep myself alive, keep all of us alive. All right, that's 34. That I'm going to heal myself. One second. And then, oh God, this doesn't look good. And then I'm going to go within 25 feet of him and I'm going to compel him to duel me so that, here, I'll I'll read the spell for you. Wait, is he already compelled to the bear? He is highly seduced by the fuck bear. He's distracted by the fuck bear, yeah. Is he actually distracted by the fuck bear? Yeah. He's he is paying attention to the fuck bear right now, yeah. The fuck bear is like inches from his face dancing around sexually. Okay. Well, what this this is different. This isn't attention, okay? This isn't attention. Mm-hmm. L- I'll tell you what it is. You attempt to compel a creature into a duel. One creature that you can see within range must make a wisdom saving throw on a failed save. The creature is drawn to you compelled by your divine demand for the duration it has disadvantage on attack rolls against creatures other than you and must make wisdom saving throw each time it attempts to move to a space that is more than 30 feet away from you. If it succeeds on the saving throw, this spell doesn't restrict the target's movement for that turn. All right. What's that wisdom saving throw? 18. 18. Would it be disadvantage since it's already compelled once or no? No. Boo. That's a four. So it, yeah. you, it hears your challenge. It can only hurt me without disadvantage. And it can only attack you. Yeah. All right. Bonus actions. All right, you fucking white dragon. The fuck bear is confused because it was like, it's now it's like not being paid attention to. <laughs> this fuck bear goes over. <laughs> it's a Yugoloth, an ancient demon from the nine hells ready to attack with its infernal spells and giant abilities. And all it's done, it's like weird burlesque for every <laughs> dragon spirit you meet. And now or, it's being ignored. <laughs> but it's going really well. Or is the dragon thinking that I'm trying to get the fuck bear and that's why it wants to duel me now? Ooh. <laughs> it's just jealous. <laughs> all right. How did the fuck bear come into existence? What is a summon fiend? Yeah, it's a, you summoned it. Nice. I got to check out this Yugo out. And it's just with us forever now. Yep. Ah, <laughs> time is different for fuck bears. Yeah. All right. So, Bridget, <laughs> this is this dragon is going to attack you three times. Oh, fuck. Okay. Once with its bite and two with its claws. All right. I am um, apparently immune to critical hits according to this thing, which I didn't <laughs> know before. All right. That bite is going to be a... Whew. Critical hit, critical hit, critical hit. No whammy stop. 25? 25? That just gets it. Okay. That's going to do... Fuck. 25 damage. Okay, I'm still alive. And then two claw attacks. Oh, that's a nat one. Nice. Oh, All right, so it'll miss you. And you know what? I'll, I'll say that as it reaches out to claw you, it sort of trips itself on the ice and doesn't get to make that second claw attack at you. So... That'll be the consequence for that natural one. I love it. And, oh, you know what? It's going to do one other thing. It's going to make a wing attack. It's going to beat its wings, and every creature within 15 feet of the dragon must succeed on a DC 22 dexterity saving throw. Oh, all of us are away from it, except for the Yugoloth. Uh, The Yugoloth and Bridget. Me. Oh, you just got close. That's right. Okay. Yugoloth fails its saving throw. Yugoloth has advantage on saving throws. Okay, this is actually, there's plus four to that too because it hasn't been adding the plus four on saves. So that's, that's 20. 20? Mm-hmm. All right, that will not do it. I'm checking to see if it actually has. Yugoloth has, uh, the, the fiend has advantage on saving throws, it says. Oh, nice. All right, well, then I'll do it again. A nat one. So this is Yugoloth fucking does a, <laughs> is doing a sexy dance. It's kind of dodges out of the way, but then it like tries to twerk in the direction. And so it gets knocked prone and you are both going to take, it's going to be 13 damage. Okay. And you're prone. You know, I'm just going to, I'm just going to take this as a, as a sign that I needed to take it easy on this one. I feel like I've been overdoing it a lot. I mean, you challenged him to a duel. I did that <laughs> to protect you guys. Thank you. All right, Talon, you are up. Oh, okay. I am going to, I think that I can hit him staying where I am. 
on the oath boy says 150 feet range and then 600 in parentheses. What's the 600? I don't know. Find out. But you're definitely within 50 feet of the dragon. So. Okay, cool. Well, I'm just, okay, cool. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to do two oath bow attacks and try and do two sneak attacks with it, but we'll see if they hit. So first oath bow attack. Ooh, eight plus 11, 19. Probably not going to hit. Uh, nope. 15 plus 11, 26. That one will hit. Oh, but I can't do the extra damage. Well, can I do the sworn enemy? I can't switch that quick, can I? Oh, no, the blue one is dead. So can't you do another one because the uh, blue one died? I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So 1d8 plus 5 plus 3d6. Yeah. That is 6 plus 12 plus 43. Plus 43. All right. So this arrow comes thunking out of the invisibility into this dragon's side. It lets out an angry roar. Bonus actions. Anything? I am going to do like, can I do like a move a little bit of the bonus action? Not as a bonus action, but as your move action, you can. Okay. I'm going to move like, I'm going to keep my distance, but I'm going to move to the right of where I am facing the dragon. Okay. So just so I'm not directly on him anymore. All right. And... Snedrick, you are up. Okay, I can turn into a different thing now, right? Sure as fuck you can. I am bored as hell being an Andro Sphinx. Okay, I'm going to turn into a storm giant. Ooh. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, right? And I am going to make a lightning strike. The giant hurls a magic lightning bolt at a point it can see within 500 feet of it. Each creature within 10 feet of that point must make a DC 17 dexterity saving throw. Now, I, I feel like given the size, the 10 elephant size of this thing, there's a point that I can throw this, my lightning bolt where it's not going to be within 10 feet of any of my comrades here, taking 12 D8 lightning damage on a failed save or half as much on a successful. Let me roll that save first. You can throw that 500 feet. Yeah. That is so far. It's like a snorkel on a spear. That's <laughs> <insane>. <laughs> That's a seven. The ancient white dragon does not save, so he'll take full damage. 12d8 damage. Mm -hmm. Fuck yeah. No, those motherfuckers. That is 48. 48 damage. All right. Any bonus actions? Any anything? I don't think so. Sorry. Let me make it a quick look. No, it doesn't look like it. All right. Claw, you are up. Again? I just went. Don't question it. Literally before me. So immediately. Don't question it. Oh, great. Sorry. No, uh, Blue Dragon's <laughs> dead. Sneak attack, sneak attack, sneak attack, sneak attack. <laughs> Dave, you and your uh, coterie are up. Sea Dog, you ready? That would be a fucking great sneak attack right there, right? Like, it's <laughs> not even your turn. turn. <laughs> That's a fucking sneak attack. Sea Dog, you ready over there? Yes, Master. Excellent. Okay, let's, uh, let's get one of you doing the fire breath and uh, do, uh, two of you doing the fire breath, one of you doing a uh, multi-attack with uh, bites, claws, and uh, other stuff. That's not how it works. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> yep. <laughs> I can make three bite attacks, or I can do my... All of you have to do the same thing? Yep. Really? Yeah. I just like the idea of like one of them biting and the other one breathing fire and the one that's biting going, dude, what the <laughs> fuck? Ow, ow. I'm right here. <laughs> You're like, I'm making... obviously right here. Yeah. If we're going based off Kingdom Hearts, the three heads should be able to do three different things. I'm that's just what I'm saying. saying. And I thought we were definitely going off of Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> <laughs> Say one other thing about yes, Kingdom what Hearts. Is Kingdom Hearts? <laughs> one other thing. I dare you. Kingdom, Kingdom Hearts is a, a novel by nope. William <laughs> <laughs> Lane Craig. <laughs> so again, if you will look at his action block, he can multi-attack, he can bite, he can claw, and then he can do his fire breath every five to six turns. Uh, well, he can, he can recharge it five to six times. No, he, uh, the recharge takes five to six turns is what that means. Oh, okay, but there were, there were that many turns since he went, right? No. Oh. Been, no, your turns. Five, five or one, six of yeah, your five, six of his turns. Been oh, one turn. My turns. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I was really thought you. I was like, wow, man, you really think I'm an idiot? It's like, <laughs> no. It's been we've been here for a hundred years. But no, <laughs> like, there's you meant other people's turns. Yeah, no. turns. <laughs> five or six of his own turns is what that recharge means. <laughs> so you're saying fire breath is not available? Fire breath is not available. 
then we're going to go multi-attack. All right. That's going to be three bite attacks. And one claw attack. And one claw attack. Thank you. Thank you. By the way, Kingdom Hearts is a video game, just for future reference. Yeah, actually. Yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so two of those hit. One bite attack and one claw attack. All right, so that's going to be 3d8. Sorry, let me just get a math. Fun fact about Sea Dog while I'm doing this math, he understands Infernal but can't speak it. Like Heath and French. <laughs> That is Sea Dog's turn. Dave, you or the Yugoloth? Oh, hey, this is actually kind of cool. Sorry. You're supposed to roll a die afterwards and a, a D6. And if you get the six, then you get to do it at, at five. But if you if you roll anything below that, then it takes six turns. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Maybe it's just so five I actually turns. could have possibly done the fire breath right now. You you have the ability. No, you no, have it, a, it, no. no, it would have taken at least five. Yeah, it, it takes it at says, least. It says five it has turns. a random chance of recharging during each subsequent round of combat. Oh, okay, you got it. Oh, I see. What? Yeah, at the start oh, of so each, you have to roll. At the start of each of their turns, you roll a d6. If the roll is one of the numbers in the recharge notation, the monster regains the use of the special yep. ability. That is oh gross. shit! I love that. I didn't even I know about that. that. You just did all the math, so Heath can <laughs> do fine. it. I can undo the math. Heath, roll a d6. <laughs> I got nothing but editing time. This is just one long drag. What did you come up with in the math, just so I know? Oh, what did I come up with? Damage? Yeah. It I'm ended up curious. being 40 damage total. I feel like we take that. Wow. All right. Do pretty we? Good. Take the damage. Sure. Okay. All right. I mean, those fireballs are pretty fun. But yeah, but... That there's a chance that you just... I mean, you get to do a fireball next. I could just miss. Well, but if you if you don't get the five or six, you still get to attack, Like right? The recharge isn't your turn. Right. It's just about whether or not it recharges. Yeah, good point. That's All right. one. Okay, so I got a one. So that didn't happen. <laughs> oh, <laughs> heartburn. All right. Dave, you or the Ugolov? Who's up? Hey, uh, fuck bear? <laughs> yeah. They're on their back. Yep. Just staring up at the ceiling disconsolately. Cool. You want to hop up and help out? Uh -huh. Just, you know, maybe with a, a little bit of uh, enthusiasm. Uh -huh. Wow. Do you want to do this right now? Everybody's kind of looking at us. <laughs> just, I'm just saying, <laughs> take it seriously. It's a dragon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I know. I know. That, I, that happens to everybody sometimes. Whatever. Just go <laughs> ahead and hop up. Are you with the fuck bear? <laughs> I don't like titles, but maybe. <laughs> wow. We're going to do this right now. Right now. Really. Unbelievable. It's, hasn't it been in existence for like two hours? Sounds like it's time to me. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I mentioned you on the podcast. You're right here in it now. You should be fine. Okay. Uh, we go ahead and, and hop up and I'm going to look up what you can do really quick. <laughs> yep. Go ahead. Yeah. There we go. You Yeah. Go ahead and use your claws as a melee weapon, please. That's a 23. That'll hit. Nice. And that roll that hey, is. Fuck bear. I'm sorry about what I said earlier. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. I like that. <laughs> Nice. All right. All right. Hopefully nobody else understands Fuck Bear. <laughs> I mean, Fuck Bear very obviously said, I love you. And you Thank said, you, nice. fucking Noah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> like, you're talking about, I hope nobody else. You can't understand. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I love spending cave time with you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's going to be 16 damage. All right. It is you. Dave. Ooh, I would also like Fuck Bear to magically teleport up to 30 feet in an unoccupied space it can see to get out of the way. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Seriously, you do some great work with that magical teleport, I gotta tell you. Teleports next to Snedrick. <laughs> really? I mean, obviously, I don't have any problem with labels. What, how could you have... So Snedrick, will you, will you tell Fuck Bear that, that I'm offended by that? <laughs> I'll talk to the Fuck Bear after the recording. Okay. We shouldn't fight on air. <laughs> <laughs> hey, big thanks to Madonna for coming in to play the Fuck Bear, by the way. That's really awesome. <laughs> it's, it's a good get. 
All right, I am going to shoot a chromatic orb. Ooh, I don't think you've done this one before. Read that spell description for us. I have not. I hurl a four-inch diameter sphere of energy at a creature I can see within range. The range is 90 feet, so I'm good. I choose... Okay, question for everybody. I get to choose the type of orb I create. This is a white dragon, is that correct? Mm Mm-hmm. What do y'all think is the worst for a white dragon to deal with? Mm. Would it be... Yeah. Fire? Would it be acid, cold, fire, lightning, poison, or thunder? I will save you some time and tell you that they do not have any vulnerabilities, just immunities. Oh. What are they immune to? I bet you can guess. Well, we've already hit it with fire. I bet they're immune to uh, ice or some shit like that. Well, it's a white dragon, so probably like data or like... (laughs) (laughs) Something like critical that. Ra- Can you turn it into a critical, critical race, race or? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Spicy? Make it a spicy kind of orb. <laughs> sure. <laughs> All right. So I feel like that's either fire, poison, or maybe thunder or lightning. Ah. They may be immune. Well, thunder, lightning worked because Snedrick did a, th- a yeah, storm that's true. giant. Yeah, so oh, lightning worked? Would. Yeah. I wouldn't do poison. They're probably immune to poison. Okay. If lightning, if lightning worked, we definitely go with lightning. Yeah. Also, Eli, wait, wait, wait. Eli actually also said that, remember, we haven't actually successfully hit him with any fire. And uh, he said he would have had a lot of damage done. Oh, that's true. I thought C-Dog hit him with the fire breath. Yeah. And he got hit I hard. Thought it was the other, I thought it was the other guy, though. The other, yeah, oh, the other guy right. got hit the hard, other. but oh, that, that was okay. the blue, which makes sense. Yeah. What is, what is white representing? But this went through ice breath and shit at us, so like clearly yeah. fire would... Would yeah, fuck fire would do great. You would think. Yeah. yeah, let's fuck him up with the fire. All right. Read that. Yeah, the rest of that spell, I pick one of those. We'll go with fire for the orb. And then I make a ranged spell attack against the target. If the attack hits, creature takes 3d8 of the type chosen, but at higher levels, second or higher, the damage increases by 1d8. So it's, it's going to be a 10d8 if I hit. So roll to hit. Ooh. Yeah, roll it. All right. Come on. 22 to hit. Oh, that'll hit. All right. 10 D Ocho 57 damage. Damn. All right. And this, this dragon is looking rough. All right, Bridget, I will tell you right now because you Hmm. can do this. Oh, this dragon has 111 hit points left. I don't know if I can do that. I really don't. I feel like you heal yourself again if you can. And because I know and, and keep it not hitting you guys. Well, but it it goes after you, right? Yeah, it has to. No, no, no. I mean, it's it 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 gets the next turn. Like we don't have another attack on our team before it goes. Correct? Yeah. Okay. Also, let me say this: if if this ups the stakes slightly, I'll say this. I just learned that in order to to recharge that ice breath thing, I've got to roll a d six, and if I get a five or a six. He can ice breath you all again. And how much damage did that do? 70? Like 70. 90 something. I'm in the air oh. though, so it probably won't hit me, right? It's a 90 foot cone. It'll hit you. Ooh. Can I? Oh. I forgot to bonus ah, action oh, Misty whoa. Step out of the way at the end of my thing. <laughs> <laughs> You're such an asshole. I do that just, now. Just, there's just a, a tiny poof and you're standing next to the Yugla. <laughs> well, actually, if I keep on being in a duel with him, it'll only get me. Because he can't harm anybody that isn't me. No, he just has to make a wisdom saving throw. He, he's, not, he's not that wise. Eli said he's not wise. I think as long as the attack is aimed at you. This is a white <laughs> dragon. This is not a wisdom situation. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I'm going to read it. One second. Uh, saving throws on a fail. No, not on a failed save. He's a big spellcaster, so he probably has good wisdom. I think it was dexterity he didn't have. Yeah, on a failed save, the creature can't move with it more than 30 feet away. This effects and uh, one second. The battle with you. I feel like if one of us rolls a 20, we hit him with the critical race theory and he, we win for sure against the <laughs> yes! 20. Oh, it has disadvantage on attack rolls. Yeah, exactly. False. Just throwing it out as an option. Don't uh, have to take, take it or leave it. Ooh, can you do your, your keg thing? I'm not Bridget. <laughs> Different character. I'm Brent. 
What what is my name? I think I'm just Dave's <laughs> grandfather on this sheet. Do I, I don't have a name grandfather either. Dave. I, I gave you a good name. I forget what it was. Yeah, was but it? you keep calling him Dave. <laughs> I do keep calling him Dave because he's Dave on the inside. Okay. Maybe I'm Dave the first. Well, you know, I am going to. I'm going to attack him with my sword. Two. That's 32 to hit. Yeah, that'll do it. Good. Oh, and if I do it double handed, then I can get an extra. Here we go. That's 22. 22 damage. And I'm also going to bonus action, turn the tide as a bonus action. Each creature within a 30 feet regains once D6 plus four HP. I don't think that's anybody except you. What? Yeah. I actually forgot to Misty step away, so I might get that. <laughs> <laughs> you Misty stepped away, motherfucker. You and the Yugaloth and Snedrick are on the opposite side of this fucking cave. Wait, if I, I wouldn't have Misty ste stepped next to them. I'm mad at Yugaloth and I want to get okay. out of the way. Oh, that's true. Okay, well, you're still not close to the dragon. Okay, so, uh, yeah, I, I mean, I, I'm going to heal myself. All right. That's eight damage. Nice. Right. Do it yourself. All right. I'm going to roll this D6 and see if this dragon recharges his ice breath. Big money, big money. Going to roll it to everybody. Although you guys can never see it when I roll to everybody. Little never money. That's a five. Ah, fuck. Ice breath is recharged. I'm going to die. It was pleasant knowing you all. I mean, some of you. You guys are all out of the way, right? The rest the rest of us are out of the way. Yeah, Bridget's right there. Though. I'm pretty sure I'm out of the way. He's 35 feet in the air. Sorry, Brant. And invisible. Well, if I die, it'll uh, the, the spell will end. So um, <laughs> just so you know. I don't think he's going to ice breath just Bridget as much as that's a funny image for him to just <laughs> full on blast Bridget. Well, it's, no. it's, 90, it's a 90 foot cone. We're like 200 feet away. Yeah, you guys are way too far away. We're for 140 to... feet away, I guess, because he's 60 feet. Yeah, he could only do Bridget, who is just standing right next to him, having hit him with a sword. <laughs> Come at me, baby. All right, let's do it. This is a DC 22 constitution saving throw. Full All right. cone of cold <laughs> right in the face. Constitution saving throw. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. All right, this will be the number plus four. You ready? I'm ready. That's 23 plus four. 23, yes. yes. 27. <laughs> yes. So do you just take half of the 90 damage? Yeah, or? I do. <laughs> All right. Well, then you're going to take half of whatever I roll right now. All right. Fuck. 16 D8 damage. Let's roll it. What? Oof. Mm -hmm. Whew, here we go. Bridget, you are going to take 42 damage. I'm still alive. <laughs> She's alive. <laughs> I made it through. He's just a giant. He stands just full bore, just blasted right in the face. And Brant just wipes the frost from his face and just continues to stare down this white dragon. Claw, you are up. Okay, so he had 111. You did 30 damage, right? 89 points of damage left, in case you're interested. You got to do, do that like crazy double melee double thing. Give the double double. Yeah, we're going to do this exact same thing. I, I always get pigeoned into like doing, well, that's a terrible thing for me to say. But anyways, <laughs> pigeoned, pigeoned in. in. <laughs> really? <laughs> human hold. Really? Whatever. <laughs> so we'll do two oath bow attacks with hopefully some sneak attacks. Okay, first one to hit. Oh, 19. Not going to do it? Nope. And 22. That'll hit. Cool. What do we need? Like a 21 to hit? I think it's a 20 to hit. I think 20 is probably right where he's at, 20 or 21. 13 plus, wow, I'm rolling pretty good. 13 10. plus 10. Nice. Plus 31. 31. All right. This arrow goes thunking into him. This dragon sort of falls down onto its four claws. Snedrick, Ferndangle. Really quickly, I'm going to move 30 more feet to the right if I can. Fair. <laughs> just to get out of that cone just of cold gently shit. smooching away from yeah. <laughs> the farther and farther from the cone. Yeah. Snedrick, this ancient white dragon has 35 hit points left. And you are a storm giant. <laughs> you are a storm giant. 
at the risk of overdoing things, I'm going to roll a D6 to see if I recharge my... Uh... Oh, fuck. I do. Oh, <laughs> damn. Ooh, so shit. I'm going to hurl some lightning at this motherfucker one more time. DC 17 dexterity saving throw. 12 D8 damage on a failed save. Half as much on a successful one. All right. Let me roll that saving throw. Be anticlimactic if he saves. Nope. That's a 16. All right. Yeah. And one shot. Oh, my goodness. 53. 53. Oh, yeah. 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 And with that, lightning comes soaring out of the sky through the crystal. You know what happens? It hits a crystal next to you. And that bounces to the next crystal, which bounces to the next crystal, which bounces <laughs> to the next one. All of these crystals are all of a sudden filled with your lightning magic. They fly across the room, this thick rope of lightning and just poof, just into a shatter of white ice dust. The ancient white dragon is defeated. I'm going to turn to the fuck bear and I'm going to go. It's all in the reflexes. <laughs> <laughs> It gently runs its claw along you. <laughs> but it's like your ankle because you're a frost giant. It's making well, eye right, contact yeah, no, with I'm heat. Very large. Very large. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Whatever. Fuck Bear just said monogamy is slavery in case anyone's interested. <laughs> <laughs> The preceding podcast was a production of Puzzle and a Thunderstorm, LLC. Copyright 2023. All rights reserved.